Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to do an in-depth review of this TP-Link router. This is a basic budget router from TP-Link and this is single band N150 router and the model name is tlwr 40 n and uh, the good thing about this router is that it's relatively very cheap. Uh, you can get this uh, router in the market for the street price of about 1200 to 1300 rupees or less than US $30. And this router was provided by TP-Link for review and when I received this router, I was just like, okay, N51 router, budget router, meh. But after testing this router for a few weeks, I'm really impressed with the same and this has to be one of the best budget routers that you can buy. So let's have a look at the same. So this is the TP-Link router. Let me give you a quick overview of the same physical overview. On the back, we have one uh, antenna and this antenna is actually fixed. You cannot remove that. And on the back, we have the reset switch over here. The power adapter pin goes here and we have a physical on off button. We have four ethernet ports. These are 100 Mbps ports and one port is, uh, is this is the WAN port. And we also have this uh, QSS setup. This is w, basically a WDS setup. And on the front, we have quite a few LEDs. I'll talk about that later. And on the back, we have a lot of holes for venting out the heat. This unit is pretty light and it does not heat up a lot. So this is how the router is going to look when it's switched on and placed on your desk. Now what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of the uh, the LED lights that we get with this router. First, we have the power light. This lights up in green. Next, we have this asterisk. This uh, blinks continuously. And we also have this Wi-Fi icon. And uh, whether there is any Wi-Fi activity or not, this also blinks continuously. Next, we have the LAN ports 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, I have just one uh, machine attached right now. And uh, that's on the port number 4. And that's blinking. And we have this icon that uh, suggests that we are connected to the internet. And this is for the... Uh, uh, WDS setup. The most important thing when reviewing a Wi-Fi router according to me is the actual Wi-Fi performance given by the router and I give about 90% of the marks uh, for the router based on that performance and uh, if you have been following my videos or my blog I have standardized a test for these uh, testing these Wi-Fi routers. I have divided this apartment into four zones A, B, C and D and generally every router uh, performs brilliantly in A and B zone. Uh, generally in C zone some of the budget routers uh, tend to show their weaknesses and D zones almost all routers uh, do not give a good throughput because it's really far. Uh, again this router uh, uh, performed brilliantly in A and B as expected but even in C this router performed brilliantly uh, zone c is approximately about 33 feet from the router and we have two solid brick walls in the between and many of the routers that i test uh, do a fall back in the zone 3 the throughput that i find is not great but with this tp link router even in the zone uh, c i got great throughput and to uh, give you an idea some of the routers that are approximately five times the cost of this router it beat even those routers so if you are looking for a great consistent throughput, this router excels in that. And for all my Wi-Fi testing, I enable the encryption. I keep the encryption at WPA2 plus AES. And I also tested a lot of media with this router. And I test this media in the zone B that's approximately 23 feet from the router. There is one solid wall between them. And this uh, router performed brilliantly in my media test. It, I was able to play 720p HD videos and even 1080p videos without any issues. Uh, apart from that, I tested even uh, uh, streaming two concurrent uh, standard definition uh, feeds and I was able to stream them without any issues. So if you're looking to stream data with this router, uh, this uh, router performs brilliantly. I was surprised to see that it even was able to stream 1080p videos uh, without any issues. Now I have some figures to show you the actual throughput of this router. This is our TP-Link router. And as you can see in the zone A, uh, we got a throughput of about 38.6 Mbps. In the zone B, it actually increased to about 40.6 Mbps. And even in zone C, I'm really impressed uh, that we are getting a throughput of about 39.6 Mbps. So in A, B and C, the throughput is almost very similar. 
again in zone d uh, we uh, the throughput drops down drastically to about 4.3 mbps nothing to be alarmed because this is pretty far and almost all routers i have tested uh, perform pathetically over here now to give you an idea uh, I also had uh, benchmarked these Netgear and Osus routers earlier, but do note this, this Netgear router is approximately about 7,500 rupees, almost six times the cost of this TP-Link router. And this Osus uh, uh, N56U router is about 8,500 rupees, about uh, roughly about seven times the cost of this router. So you can see that this TP-Link router performs brilliantly, and I don't think so any budget router will come even close to this it performs almost as good as this osis router and it actually beats this netgear router in the zone uh, b and b c and d so overall i'm really impressed with the actual wi-fi throughput of this tp link router now we are testing the power efficiency of this tp link router and as you can see my power meter shows that it's consuming just two watts of power i have connected two computers right now uh, where the LAN ports and the Wi-Fi is also on. So you can say that this uh, TP-Link uh, router is very power efficient and will just consume about 2 watts of power. So to conclude this review, this TP-Link router is an excellent router if you are on a tight budget. As you would have seen, the throughput that this router offers is consistent. Even at a mid to a long range, I have seen excellent throughput, which actually uh, I was a little bit surprised with the performance of this router. So if you are in the market uh, for a Wi-Fi router, but you are on a tight budget, have a serious look at this TP-Link router. This router gets a big thumbs up from me. That's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.